in February of this year, the financial media was playing taps for what they call the mean stock uh, and calling its revolution dead. As many of those big names that were highlighted had come down significantly from their highs, although they were well above their lows. Now, uh, there was a general feeling, though, that it was time to do a post-mortem on the movement. For many, it was also time to say, I told you so. Everyone eagerly reached out to Dave Portnoy, who, well, he helped, uh, you know, with people. He made the term and the word stocks popular last year. And he was always a stand-up guy. He gave a bunch of interviews, including one with Stuart Barney on this network on February 17th. And Dave Portnoy joins me now. Dave, during that interview, there, was a, there were a bunch of full screens, and they had a lot of Reddit names in there. Uh, you know, and it struck me as I was reviewing it today. GameStop was 47. It's 217 now. AMC was five bucks. It's 56. Express up more than 100 percent to 250. Now it's 577. Are you surprised how this movement held? And it seems to be gaining even more strength. Uh, I don't know if the word would be surprised, but I give credit to all the people who have stayed in it and, and held it. I mean, the thing that stopped it the first time, the momentum, obviously, was when they froze trading. And they're not really doing that anymore, and it's come back. So, I, yeah, I, I guess I would have to say I'm surprised because I don't own them, and I wish I did. So if I knew it was coming, yeah. I would have them. Um, so, yeah, I guess sure, I am a sure. little bit surprised, but good for them. You know, my favorite movie, one of my top three movies is Cool Hand Luke. I know you know the movie, and you know the part where he comes back and he becomes a model prisoner and everyone gets pissed off, right, because he was the maverick. And, of course, later on in the show, he did something like that. But you kind of remind me of that movie in the sense that you sold, you admitted you, admitted you took a $700,000 hit, and you said you were a paper hands. Now so many of these people who were in this, a lot of them got drawn into it because of you. They're so disappointed and angry at you. What do you say to them? Oh, those people are idiots. Yeah, we don't pay any attention to those morons. Listen, the, most of the people who are saying paper hands and this and that, uh, they, they, they lost five cents. They lost a nickel. I lost 700 grand. I got out of it. I took my beating. So anybody paper hands, I'd like to wrap them in toilet paper and glue lettuce to them and set them afloat in the ocean. I don't pay any attention to those idiots. Really? That's kind of cold, Dave. I mean, think about this for a moment. They're saying 700000 to a guy like you, is, and when they put all of their money in, that you didn't have to sell, that you were the face of this movement, that when you gave up, you helped the establishment when they needed you most. I mean, why would you diss them now? Why would you call them names now? Diss I mean, them. You know, I you're, Charles, you're being a naive fool. These people, these are Twitter eggs that you're listening to. The real people who have money in it and understand how it works, they're not the ones calling names. I'd love to see the bank accounts and the receipts of these people. And by the way, I don't know what they'd be mad at me for. I sold. If they held, they'd be rich. So what do they get mad? No, Paper I think a lot of them did hold. I sold it. I think they were disappointed. They were just disappointed because they looked they up to you. I'm not being a fool. Crap. I'm That's asking a legitimate media. question. You listen to that. If, if you listen to what people say on social media, you'll never leave your mom's basement. Come on. <laughs> well, uh, I, I live in a pretty big house, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, but the point is, though, what I'm saying, though, is so now you're saying that these same folks that looked up to you, that jumped on the stunts bandwagon, now you're calling them names, now you're dissing them as no, belittling no, no, them no, as no, people no, with no, no. not a lot of money. It sounds like you're Charles belittling the these folks. Calling me names. I don't worry about the haters and whatnot. So, but why do you feel the need to belittle these people? Why do you want to look at their bank accounts? You're, they don't have as no, much no, money no. as you do. They're throwing, they're throwing stones at statues. You're talking about people who are out there, oh, paper hands, this, that. Why the need to belittle them? Who's belittling who? I wouldn't know they existed if they weren't tweeting at me and you. Yeah, but you could be the bigger man in this particular place. I'm not Can a you see where they had a lot of faith in you? I'll come at you. You're asking me about a segment of people who live to stir the pot, and I'm surprised you're falling for it. Show no, me I'm the not falling for if anything. People, the bottom line, here's the thing. Here's the thing. you're talking thing. about, Charles, can show me their trades. When I traded it, they followed suit or whatever, and they have more than five cents in it, then I'll apologize. All right, well, I think you're going to owe a lot of people an apology. Not that they sold when you sold, because they're saying that you were paper hands and they're diamond hands, but you didn't live up to what you were saying, that you helped create a movement, and at the first sign of danger, you were the one who blinked. And that's, that's why they lost danger. respect that for you. That trading, Charles. I didn't know they could do that. Do your research and see the sequence of events. I didn't start it. I joined yeah. it. 
If you watch my show, I actually have chronicled this better than anyone else and well, why how it was that, wrong for Robin how Hood. How is that? Get why it was wrong for Robin Hood to close trading? Uh, trade because not everyone sold AMC at five bucks. Well, then they're Some people rich held and on they to wouldn't it. be complaining, would they? Well, they might be complaining. Rich people why complain all the complain? time. You're rich you and you complain a lot. You millions of dollars because you held and then you go make fun on Twitter of somebody who sold. That's not how would it you, works. They're parting on their yacht. Would you, would, you step up, would you step up for these people, Dave, and try step to help up. them oh, now get no these You're making no sense. You're, be, you're I'm being try, I'm trying to. No, I'm not being. You're being a little bitch. Listen, would you step up to these bitch. people and go to Gary Gensler, <laughs> go to Gary oh, Gensler and say help change the rules? I don't like that. Would you're you, getting, you're would getting you ask Gary Gensler to change online. the rules? Social media is making a mockery would of you Would you ask right Gary now. Gensler to change the rules? Could you ask, what? could you go to war for these people? Could you ask for the rules to be fixed, Who's the playing field Gensler? to be leveled? Who's Gary Gensler? He's the chairman of the SEC. All right. Hey, Dave, we'll leave it there, my man. We'll talk again soon. Don't uh, be a little we'll bitch. We'll see you, folks. We'll be Don't right back. Don't be a little bitch, Charles. <laughs>